Yo, yo, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to kill Leos in the labyrinth. Now, this guy is probably the hardest boss out of uh, the three mini bosses to kill. So, what I'm going to show you first, um, usually I use a 30 turn immunity like a Wusa, but I know some of you might not have it. And in case you don't have enough damage, uh, this is the team I'm going to use. So, I do have the Mihayang um, on violence as you just saw she proc. So, that's kind of to, so she can violence into her. Her skill three. All right, so with a team like that, uh, the trash shouldn't be a problem because you've got plenty of heals. All right, so now that we're at the boss, let's cover his uh, his runes really quick. So the turn order, um, as far as you uh, what you're gonna kill is focus, focus, focus. The focus rune will freeze you through immunity. So whenever he has the focus rune, you have to make sure you kill that. ASAP, all right, and then the second one is the will because you need a defense break, you're gonna need those brands. If he keeps the will, he's just gonna cleanse them, all right. So let's take a look at how, how this run goes. I start working on the will, and um, I get it down, and then you know, you kind of just go to uh, to the boss because I knew I probably wasn't gonna be able to kill the rage, even though I did try. But I, I should have known better, but it's okay but because the rage does not matter if he doesn't freeze anyone, all right? So, and then this is all you do. You try to keep your immunity up. This is obviously a lot easier with a three-turn immunity unit. And right there, the Miha Yang extends the immunity uh, for everyone. And then, boom, Katarina, she should, uh, Katarina definitely should be uh, your damage dealer for this. Uh, Stella's really good because she can one-shot for the most part these rune towers almost with her skill three, and it doesn't go on cooldown uh, right, uh, if she does kill. Right there she didn't because she was missing an attack buff now. And then right there, unfortunately, I do want to show you, I, I didn't kill the rage rune, so Galleon is frozen, so when he gets another turn, which is right now, which we pass the threshold, he's going to kill the Galleon. But, uh, they, I mean, this might take a little bit of practice, as you see, I got a frozen unit, I'm going to have another frozen unit uh, here when he moves, uh, just like that. But uh, Miha Yang, uh, luckily, Miha Yang resisted, and... I'm able to reduce the the, fro the amount of turns that they're frozen, and then I'll put up immunity, and then Katarina will be able to move again and kill it. Now, guys, this is like the hard way to kill this guy, and I'm going to show you the easy way, and basically the best way to kill him. Um, like I said, because... If, if you if you want to do it the right way, which is like this, and killing the rune towers and then doing damage, there's just so many things that can go wrong, all right? So I highly, highly suggest uh, that you build uh, the cleave team that I am going to show you next. And then right here, I mean, all we're waiting for is Katarina to get that one next um, solar discharge, which is coming up right here. We just need him to hit once, and boom. Um he's dead so that's how you would do it um if you don't have enough you know enough damage maybe that's kind of like uh the strategic way to do it all right so again now uh, this is the trash so now as you can see i'm using the stella and the crow and uh that's just for some heavy damage we're pretty much just gonna one shot this boss let me fast forward through this trash and um this is the team i suggest you build it's just so much easier so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to put a Fnatic right away. And uh, that's because we need that immunity up right away. So then Galleon will do time to loot. All right, now Stella, uh, we are going to need that branding on the boss, okay? So we put it, we're going to put up the branding on the boss. And as you've noticed, he does have the will room. So we are going to need to kill it. And that's where Katarina is going to come in. Uh, so your Katarina is going to move. So your turn order is Chloe. Galleon, Stella, Katarina, and then the Crow. And, you, and you're going to see why right here. So, so we get the branding up on, on the boss. And now Katarina is going to one-shot this will room because you, you don't want him cleansing that branding or you're not going to be able to kill it, okay? So let's, uh, let's see how that goes. Boom. We one-shot it. Now Crow, he's just going to do some big boy damage times one. Let's see how much he does. Boom. So what that did is you saw how it got him past the first threshold of HP. Now we just need Katarina to move before we pass him through the second threshold. So let's see if we can do that. You actually don't want your crow to do too much damage because of that. Okay. So 
Um, in this run, I get really close, and I mean extremely close. But your Katarina is going to, with that branding, see right there, I use skill one. Look how close it was. And then Katarina, boom, boom, boom. So about 53k, and this is not even using a, you know, an attack leader. This is using Galia Speed Lead. Uh, if you wanted to use maybe the Barbaric King instead of the Stella, that could work as well. So there you have it guys, uh, that's how you kill Leos and I didn't spend too much time on this because he really is um, the, the hardest mini boss out there uh, just with his freezes and all that. Just There's just so many things that can go wrong. Uh, so I would definitely highly suggest you build a team like this. Obviously in the lower difficulties, it'll be much easier. You'll be able to just kill the rune, to uh, the rune towers and you should be okay. You, could, you should be able to maybe kill even both of them every time. You know, just kind of bring those defense breaks, bring an attack buffer and get them down. But for hell, this is definitely a variation of the team I suggest you build the most. That's pretty much it for Leo's. Uh, like I said, he, because of his new mechanics and, and him getting an instant turn every time you pass that threshold, it can be very tricky. So this is the most effective way I found to just knock him out every single time um, and the easiest way. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope uh, you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys can do this on hell mode uh, now if you weren't able to previously. It, uh, actually, let's see what uh, what we pulled here. Oh, garbage. <laughs> but uh, again, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, guys, Crow, Katarina, Stella are OP for this. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> you know.